Do you need a shovel when you go camping? Here's a quick review of a very small one that's compact. Hey, welcome to Two Camping Gurus. If you like camping in the great outdoors, you are in the right place. All right, so today I'm going to talk about this um, very compact, lightweight, very inexpensive shovel. I, I think I paid less than $10 for it. Um, this is not a top quality one by any stretch of the imagination, um, but it's a great, very compact tool that I can use when I'm camping um, for all kinds of things. Let's just show it. I usually have it hooked on to my um, bug out bag, but I do, I use my bug out bag regularly when we go, go camping, even with a camper, an RV at a campground. Um, there's all kinds of tools and stuff in there, as I have another video uh, for that as well. But um, this is with it, and uh, I use it for all kinds of different things. This is actually a, a, a new one, uh, my old one I gave to my son. So um, it comes in this little bag here. It's a camouflage, which is no big deal. I do have a carabiner hooked to it because I hook it onto my pack. And then it comes into these two parts just like this. There's really uh, not much to it. Um, at all. So you have a, a, a couple different configurations you can use it in. One first thing you're going to do is you're going to put the, the handle on it and once uh, that's in place it gives you just that little bit of extra um, you know leverage for doing stuff. So you can use it in th several positions. One you can use it like this and you use this little tightening nut right here to uh, tighten it up and uh, to hold it in each of the three positions or four positions but I'm not going to do that each time now just because it takes a little bit of extra time um, but if it was tightened down it'd be in this position and you can use it as a hoe um, and you know I've used the, my other one for like you know getting an area ready for campfire sometimes when you go to campgrounds people leave a lot of junk left in the fire pit and you need to scrape that around or even scrape some of it out and throw it in the trash this is a great tool for that um, and then you can put it into the shovel configuration again tighten down this nut and use it as a shovel now keep in mind this thing is is really cheap it's not top quality at all uh, so this blade will um, you know bend if you really start beating on it but it's really designed for just some lightweight stuff and I will say the saw on the side of it is not sharp at all it's more of just a gimmick to say there's a saw blade there um, but it is not uh, really any good at all because it has a bottle opener here, which is not going to be much good uh, either. So then you can also turn around and use it as like a pick like this. If it's tightened up, again, uh, you can use it to pry a rock out of the ground uh, for where you want to set up a tent or something like that. So that's a good tool for that. Some, nobody wants to sleep on a tent. So these are just things you can use it for in everyday camping, not really a bug out situation, just everyday use. And of course, last but not least, um, in the shovel format or in this format here, if it's tightened up as a pick. And again, I'm not tightening it up. I guess I could just to show you here. And um, so just like that. And again, this is not top quality, but it will get you by. And the idea of it is, is you don't want to be carrying great big giant tools. You can carry this thing in a very small little pouch and have it to do just the lightweight work around the campsite uh, when you're getting ready to set up your camp and things like that. So really not much to it. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. I'm going to put a link in the description for it on Amazon. So if you're interested in this, maybe you can find one. If you need something a little bit better quality, this will at least get you over there, get you looking at uh, little camp shovels. All right, and uh, you can do that. So don't forget to share this video, like this video, and put a comment down in the description if you've used one of these and what you think of it. I, I have used it, and I'm not super impressed, but it does get you by those little situations where that you wouldn't want a giant you know, shovel with you, but you want something to do a little bit of light work. Uh, there are much better quality ones out there if you really are going to be doing like backcountry stuff and you have to rely on this tool. Uh, this is not something I would want to rely on in a survival situation. It's really for lightweight uh, camping, everyday camping, weekend camper, uh, or going away on vacation, uh, especially with a tent. It's got a lot of good uses for a tent. Um, so uh, that's just something to consider. And again, link and stuff will be right in the description. Also, if you're going camping, I want you to be prepared, you and your camper and RV. So I'm going to put a link in the description as well to my free ebook as well as a pre-trip checklist to make sure you and your camper are ready to hit the road. 
Anyway, thanks for swinging by, and I uh, hope you have a great day, and of course, happy camping.